Good Wednesday morning. In this morning's devotion, Nikki Gumbel said, The older I get, the more I appreciate the wisdom of the generations before me, and the more I realize the responsibility we all have to pass the baton on to the next generation. Yesterday, I heard a report from our district youth director, Spencer Speed, and I couldn't help but notice that Spencer spoke of his work with teens not as passing the baton to the next generation, he kept referring to them as the now generation. If Jesus does not return in my lifetime, it really is just a matter of semantics, next or now. Either way, it is my responsibility to provide a solid foundation for them to stand upon. Psalm 119, my soul longs for your salvation. I hope in your word. My eyes long for your promise. I ask, when will you comfort me? For I've become like a wineskin in the smoke, yet I have not forgotten your statutes. How long must your servant endure? When will you judge those who persecute me? The insolent have dug pitfalls for me. They do not live according to your law. All your commandments are sure. They persecute me with falsehood. Help me. They have almost made an end of me on earth, but I have not forsaken your precepts. In your steadfast love, give me life, that I may keep the testimonies of your mouth. The psalmist, in this personal reflection on his life, gives us two important takeaways for every spiritual leader. The first is accept that you will always be in spiritual need. Verse 83 says, I've become like a wineskin in the smoke. The ancients would smoke the wineskin to make it hard so that the liquid would not seep out. Our psalmist realized he was becoming hard, but still he did not forget God's word. One side effect of this pandemic is it has made us hard. That that hardness has made us way too self-sufficient. Sure, there's some inconveniences, but I can still get whatever I want at Walmart. I've got everything I need. (laughs) Nothing could be further from the truth. You only need to look at the eyes above the mask and see how empty people really are. Except that you're always going to be in spiritual need. The second takeaway in these verses for every spiritual leader is this. Stand firmly upon the foundation of God's word. I hope in your word. All your commandments are sure. I've not forsaken your precepts. If we want people to see life in the eyes above our mask, we need to have a great love for God's Word. When I went to the hospital yesterday to pick Diane up after her surgery, there was no fanfare. They simply waved a digital thermometer across my forehead and said, 97.8, thank you. Knowing my temperature told the medical professionals all they really needed to know. Psalm 119 is like a spiritual thermometer of sorts. Every verse in this psalm is about God's Word, all 176 of them. So, let's take our spiritual temperature from these eight verses. Are you full of hope because of God's Word? Do you like God's Word? Do you remember what you read from the Bible yesterday? Do you trust God's judgment? Do you live according to his law? Are you confident that you know his commands? Do you read his word daily? Do you ever quote scripture out loud? Now, I'm not going to suggest how many no answers constitutes a spiritual fever, but I think you get the point. If you're not in God's word, you are not spiritually healthy. Lord, I do need you more. More today than yesterday, I need you more. I'm always in spiritual need, Lord. And Lord, if I'm going to make a difference in the lives I touch, I'm going to need a better understanding of your word. Speak to me through your word, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.